In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a simple process from a blank canvas in SCORE. By the end, you will have an understanding of simple mapping techniques and have learned how to develop, enrich and share your processes within your team or organisation. To begin, let's take a look at the simple methodology that SCORE uses. The framework is based on two basic shapes, a what box describing the work done and a why box describing why the work is done, providing context for each work activity. Firstly, ask yourself what is the scope of this process? Begin by giving the process a title. The title should describe the high level activity the process aims to execute. What therefore is the success criteria of your process? This will form your initial output or outputs. Then agree what the initial input or trigger of the process is. You now have defined your scope for the process. Using the scope to guide you, capture what work is done in order to achieve the process success criteria. Begin by dragging a number of what boxes onto the canvas and populate with the main work activities of the process. A good what box starts with a clear action, verb and noun. Don't worry about sequence at this stage or trying to write in full sentences, just get them all down. The next stage is to enter the outputs into the Y boxes. Each output becomes the input for the next activity, so think of them as the handover from one to the next. A good Y box won't simply be the past tense of the previous activity, but should provide added value or information. Only once all the activities have an output should you hook them up. Think about what this output should trigger next. This checks you've got the right activities at the right stage of the process. To begin with, focus on high level activities. However, where needed, you may need to add a further level of detail to any given activity. Subprocesses can be created by clicking the detailed view icon. A process is never quite complete until the who does it is filled in for every activity. Assign roles and systems to each activity box. You can also use a responsibilities matrix like RACI if required. Learn how to get the most out of this information in our other videos. Capture supporting information using the attachment icon. In this example, we have collected a couple of requirements and linked to documents stored externally. Learn how to extract and analyse this information. Remember, this process is for all and you want it to be visually pleasing. Align the tops, space apart. A neat process is a happy process and it's pretty satisfying too. This can be done from the menu or using keyboard shortcuts. At this stage, you can already start gathering feedback. It's never too early to share the process. Ensure the access rights are set up correctly and share the link to a wider audience. Switch on comments to allow users to comment directly onto the process. Allow your map to become a community builder within your organisation. Review pinned comments and improve and update the process. Look at the insights generated and use that information to clarify and hone your map. Decide who should approve and publish the process. This is generally the process owner. Remember, this is just a line in the sand it will need to change and be republished. You can always roll back to an earlier version if needs be, so don't be reluctant. A process map is only a useful tool if seen and shared by those who need to. That's it, a basic process map, captured in real time and ready to be used by your organization. You're ready to go. Learn more about our features or watch more informative videos by subscribing to our YouTube channel.